There's some lightning up to the north. Other than that, though, it looks like a decent weather, especially for the far north. And just to give you, you know, an, a, a, a sense here, all the watches and stuff right now are South Dakota. There's nothing, uh, you know, set out for North Dakota yet. There's likely going to be some rain, maybe even a little bit of snow, but it looks like the worst of the weather, South Dakota, Nebraska, Iowa, Minnesota, uh, places like that. There's going to be a Skywarn training program tonight at Memorial Hall in New England, learning all about severe weather, severe thunderstorms, tornadoes, flash floods, and it is free for the whole family. Make sure you take it in. So here's the look at the uh, radar and the satellite. So many of us have a fairly clear sky, but with the heating of the day, we've had those convective clouds grow, and that's those real puffy ones. And you can just kind of see them appear here. And notice if you get now, if you look up closer, there's some lightning up in Canada. That would be in Manitoba. But these are all convective type clouds, those ones that look like little splots of paint. And when the sun goes down, those clouds tend to go away. But for a while, there could be some brief showers in the northern counties. Uh, the temperatures right now are a little bit warmer than they uh, are a little bit cooler than they were just a little while ago but 60s most locations cool off to 59 in beach right now uh, rugby at 55 the wind has been 15 to 20 to 25 miles an hour most of the day. Now, we have had some stronger gusts, but uh, not terribly strong wind today. And as we look at the uh, rest of the country, and what I'm doing is I'm going to show you this in kind of the big picture, because this is really a huge storm. Now, if you look closely, because here's North Dakota, you can see that even by tomorrow morning, that gets up to about Dickinson, could get some rain. It's possible there could be a little bit of snow. The colder air is coming down out of Canada. This storm, fortunately for us, is not heading to the northeast, at least first. First thing it's going to do is start heading southeast a little bit. And uh, the high pressure kind of helps blunt that uh, northern progression. That's just one of the many things going on. And by tomorrow evening, most of the rain possibly snow, I guess, would be near the North Dakota, South Dakota border. Now, if you're planning on doing any traveling this week, this is going to turn out to be a very big deal. By Wednesday morning, it continues to head towards maybe the Oklahoma and Texas Panhandle before it starts heading back up to the northeast, and it'll take most of the snow with us. But we're talking about a lot of snow here. For South Dakota, Nebraska, uh, Minnesota, maybe parts of Iowa, uh, in Wisconsin. So here we are Wednesday. You can see how it just kind of bottoms out. Now it's going to start heading up to the north. And the snow will get a little bit closer to North Dakota on Thursday. Maybe not our area, but over towards Fargo. Any change in the track of the storm here might push snow into the uh, southeastern part of the state. So that's Thursday morning. And again, and you can see those darker colors there. That's a lot of snow. And by Thursday night, now it looks like there could be some snow in southeastern North Dakota, maybe some uh, mixed rain and snow as well. And uh, then by Friday, uh, that storm system continues to track to the northeast. And uh, maybe the southeastern part of North, uh, North Dakota gets at least a little bit of snow out of this. For the next 72 hours in Dickinson, Kind of chilly compared to the past couple of days. In Williston, same story, just kind of chilly. Uh, forecast lows tonight, 20s and 30s, most locations. Daytime highs tomorrow will be uh, in the 40s and maybe some 50s, so it's going to be cooler. Today does appear it's going to be that uh, is the warmest day of the week. So as we check out the next several days, it's going to be breezy, if not a little bit windy from time to time throughout the week. And notice these temperatures, they're just going to stay below normal for a while. And it does look like next week we start warming up a little bit. We might be talking about some thunderstorms or something next week, but for right now, just cool and breezy. Oh, mm -hmm. That's a lot of changes to wrap our head around. I just hope the snow misses us. <laughs> next at our five.